Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today I want to talk about this neat little flashlight. It's the Nightcore Tip SE. The Nightcore Tip SE. It's a handy little keychain flashlight. And it comes in two colors, black and gray. And like many small flashlights, it has a clip right here pocket clip so it can be used as a headlamp. The packaging is designed so you can try the buttons to see how bright the flashlight is. Let's press the power button and we get low. Press the mode button, we get medium. Press the mode button again, we get high. And you press and hold the mode button, you get turbo. Now since you can't sell a flashlight with a dead battery, people will be playing with it, Nightcore ships this flashlight in demo mode from the factory. In demo mode will turn itself off after 30 seconds. So the batteries will last longer on the shelf. So once you bring it home, they recommend that you change it from demo mode into daily use mode. And it's really easy to do. So this one is in demo mode right now. And to switch it to daily use mode, you just press both of these buttons at the same time and hold until the flashlight flashes. There, it just blinked twice. Now it's in daily use mode. Now if I do it again, it only blinked once, so now it's in demo mode. So since I'm going to be using this for a regular flashlight, I'm going to switch it back to daily use mode. So press both buttons again, and there we go. So let's take a look at what comes in the package. Flashlight, of course. User manual. Three split rings and a little clip. and a warranty card. Sliding the clip backwards gives you access to the USB port. So it plugs in just like that. Now this is a USB-C which is different than a lot of the other USB connectors that are out there today. Um, there's USB-A, which is the original one, USB Mini, which is on a lot of um, cell phones and things like that, and then there's the USB Micro. And now they've come out with this USB-C. And the, thing, the great thing about the USB-C is that you can't plug it in wrong. Like, if you plug it in this way, it's right, and if you turn it around plug it in that way, it's right. So that's a great improvement. Now, the thing about this flashlight, in order to keep the costs down, they don't ship it with a USB cable. So if you already have a USB-C cable, you can use it. And if you don't have one yet, Nightcore does have them for sale, so they'll sell it to you. And they also have the little um, 120 volt USB charger lock that plugs into your wall. Now as I just mentioned, there are two buttons on the flashlight. This one right here is the power button and this one right here is the mode button. Now if you press the power button, what happens is it turns on obviously but it remembers the last brightness level that it was at so if you have it on low and you press the power button low will come on again and the same goes for medium and high now the mode button allows you to switch from one brightness level to another so by turning it on it goes to the last 
power level that it was at. And then by pressing mode, okay, so it was on high. So now it's on low. Press it, mode button again, it goes to medium. Mode button again goes to high. And of course there's turbo as well, but I'll get to that in a moment. Okay, let's take a look at some of the specifications on the box. It's got a maximum output of 700 lumens. That's about as bright as a 60 watt bulb. Maximum distance is 90 meters or 90 yards. That would be at the maximum brightness, of course. Maximum intensity is 2100 candles. Impact resistance is one meter or one yard, and that would be about the same as if you just dropped your keys out of your pocket. And then the water resistance rating is IP54. The five means that it's dust resistant as long as the clip is covering the USB port. And the four means that it's water resistant to splashing. So if you got caught in the rain, you wouldn't have to worry about this. But you can't immerse this in water. Now you can get instant access to turbo, what I call self-defense mode. If this was on your key ring, for example, and you're fishing for your keys and an attacker came by to try to rob you of your keys and steal your car, if you press the mode button and hold it in when the flashlight is off, it'll go right into turbo mode. The packaging actually says radiation danger. Don't look directly at the light. So even in bright daylight, if you put this on turbo and shine this in someone's face, that'll distract them long enough that you could punch them in the throat or kick them in the groin and then get the heck out of there. And you also can get instant access to the low power mode. And this is what I call stealth mode. So at night, you can go right into low power mode. And that's done by pressing the power button and holding it. So by not having a bright light at your campsite, people are less likely to see you. So that's why I call it stealth mode. And it's also good if you're just trying to conserve your batteries. Okay, so in order to tell you about the little LEDs that are inside these switches, I'll have to wait until it's darker. So I'll, I'll see you then. Well, it's darker out now, so it'll give me a chance to show you how bright this flashlight really is. Well, it's not really dark yet, but anyway, we're standing about 30 feet away from that chair over there, and I'm just going to turn this on. Now, of course, low is only one lumen, so it doesn't do much. Just, just, uh, you can see something on the table there light up when I press the one lumen one, the low. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle through, starting with low, and then go to medium, so you can see it's quite a bit brighter there. And then high, it's really quite bright, and then turbo. And as you can see, it's incredibly bright. And again, that's at about 30 feet, so 10 yards, or 10 meters. And you can tell how charged up your battery is by momentarily pressing the mode button. And LEDs inside the switches will light up. You see that? Okay, I'll do it again. If it flashes three times, that means it's got more than 50% power. Okay, that's more, that's more than 50% power. If it flashes twice, then you've got less than 50% power. If it flashes once, then you've got less than 10% power. And if it goes down even more than that, they'll flash constantly to let you know that you're nearly out of power. Now when you charge this up, they glow red until it's fully charged and then it'll glow green to tell you that it is fully charged. 
Anyway, hope you like this demonstration. It's a neat little light. If you want more information on the specifications or the price or where to get it, there'll be a link down below in the description. So, till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat Survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.